This video will demonstrate how to install and configure an Unleashed network in the standard or AP mode. Before starting, after receiving your Unleashed access point, attach an Ethernet cable to your access point and plug it into your internet router. Attach the power cord or plug it into a PoE-enabled switch and then boot the AP. After booting up when the power LED is solid green and the control or DIR LED is blinking green, the AP is ready to configure. It will broadcast a configure.me SSID with the last six digits of the AP's MAC address. So we'll go to our wireless LANs and we'll connect to configure me and then we'll type in unleashruckuswireless.com and this will bring us to our five-step installation wizard. It'll ask us for our language so we're going to pick English and it'll ask for the system name so you can put in any name you want here, but, but we'll leave the default. If I want to enable mesh, I could select that. So I'm going to select that. Then I would hit next. And this takes me to my IP setting. So I have two modes. I have a gateway mode, which is disabled by default. And I have an IP mode, which is dynamic DHCP. In the IP mode, the first AP installed will become the primary or master AP. Additional APs are potential standby APs. If the master fails, one of these will take on the master function. So I'll select next. This is my wireless LAN setting. So here I would give an SSID name. By default, it says ruggus-wireless-1. I'm going to rename it Awani Art. And you can't use any spaces, so we'll put a hyphen in between there. Password protect is recommended. WPA2, yes. So I'm going to put in a simple passcode just for this demo. Then I'll hit next. This brings us to the administration tab. This is going to be your dashboard that you log into once you configure your AP. So we have a username and I'll keep the default of admin. We'll put in a simple password for this demo and then confirm that. And then we hit next. And here is my review tab. So I can review the system name, the IP mode, which in this case is dynamic DHCP, the IP setting, my SSID name, the admin username, the admin password, and I can show that if I click on this button here. Mesh is enabled, and it gives me my system time. So if there's anything that you want to change here, you could just hit the back button. But we'll go ahead and hit finish, and it says the Unleashed will restart after you click OK. This will take a few minutes. Do you want to continue? We'll click Yes. And it's now going to configure the system, and then it's going to reboot the AP. And this is going to take a few minutes. It gives us a warning here that says do not power off or reboot the access point. Do not refresh your browser or hit the browser's back button. So we're going to pause the recording until this finishes. And after a few minutes, we'll get the congratulations. Unleashed Master is now configured. What should I do next? So the next step would be to connect to the Awani Art SSID. This is the one that we just created. And it says it may take a few minutes for it to appear. So we have to wait about another 60 seconds or so once we get this menu. And then log in to unleash.ruckuswireless.com to manage. And it says that you can deploy additional Unleash member APs by simply connecting an Ethernet cable and ensuring that the APs are powered on. So once the master AP is configured, when I plug in additional APs and turn them on, they will automatically be configured. If you're looking at your access point, you'll notice that the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz LEDs will go amber once the SSID is being broadcast. So we'll go down to our wireless LANs, and we'll connect to Awani Art. This is the SSID that I created. And now we should be able to log in to unleash.ruckuswireless.com. And this will bring me to the login for the dashboard. So I'll put in my username, which was admin, and I'll type in my password, and I'll click on Unleashed. And this then brings me to the home page of my dashboard. You'll get a message saying, do you want to register? And why should I register? Well, it will help you in any support call to resolve your case faster. And the support contract registration will enable you to update to new software versions. So that's a pretty good idea to go ahead and register. We're going to go ahead and skip this for the demo. And it'll ask me one more time if I want to skip. And I'll say yes. And then we come to our main dashboard. And you'll notice here that it says Unleashed Mobile App is now available. So we can do our installation and configuration from a mobile app either on an iOS or an Android device. From this point on, I can then use the dashboard to configure wireless LANs, monitor clients, configure access points, and do administration services. And that's it. It's very simple, it's very straightforward, and it's easy to manage.